Through social media and more traditional media, we have a pipeline to distribute fear and uncertainty as we take it all in. The people we see each day give more and more indication that they don't know what to think or feel or do. Now, Jesus told His disciples He would soon be leaving them and that disturbed them. And so Jesus gives assurances to them. He tells them the Father was going to send the Holy Spirit to help them. And then He says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be fearful. John 14, 27. Now think about what we can have. This is vital in a world that's ever-changing and increasingly unstable. The world has no anchor or foundation that can adequately address one's disturbance and distress, and yet we have Christ. What He offers the world cannot take away. Let the vilest do their worst and we can still have peace. How could Stephen maintain such calm as his killers were literally taking his life? Peace, perfect peace. How could the early Christians relentlessly share Jesus even as they were being scattered from their homes? Peace, perfect peace. And how could the church grow amidst persecution? Peace, perfect peace. What about today? It appears that terror and violence are on the rise and dark clouds seem to be gathering to threaten our calm, comfort, and physical and economic security. We would never welcome such a circumstance, but we can weather it through peace, perfect peace. Peace, perfect peace in this dark world of sin. The blood of Jesus whispers peace within. Peace, perfect peace, our future all unknown. Jesus we know and He is on the throne. It is enough. Our struggles soon shall cease. And Jesus calls us to heaven's perfect peace. Do you have this peace?